I'm sorry your house was destroyed, guys. The place had low ESG. It was bound to happen. Thanks for letting us stay with you for the time being, Bob. I just wish Ron would sleep inside the house. Me too. I miss Dada. When Bob re-educates himself, I'll reconsider it. Honestly, I prefer Ron sleeping in the yard. He's like a human in this house we believe sign. What's that supposed to mean? You scream it at every car that drives by. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, who's hungry? I'm not eating here. I only patronize businesses that meet my political standards. This place has no sign saying whether it's a pro-choice or pro-life restaurant. That's a massive red flag. You must leave the weirdest Yelp reviews. Ron, we live in a world of exceptionally diverse options, but if you make everything about your personal politics, you're gonna severely limit who you interact with. It's just narcissistic virtue signaling and you'll never be happy. No way, I am beyond happy. We all are. How about we eat there? At Exxon? Honey, it's a gas station. Yeah, Ron, shouldn't you wanna burn that place to the ground? Excuse me, Exxon is a top 10 company when it comes to ESG. Their environmental impact alone was to be marveled at. This gasoline is as delicious as it is virtuous. What's to be marveled at is the amount of greenwashing Exxon and other companies do to get those ESG scores. See? Greenwashing. Sounds wonderful. I bet it's an organic wash, too. No, greenwashing is when companies make exaggerated or misleading environmental claims regarding their products or efforts to reduce their carbon footprint. They fudge the data and the scores to look environmentally conscious to, well, to people like Ron. Well, at least they're trying to make me happy, unlike some people I know. I knew this would happen. That's why I made sure to eat before. Oh yep. yeah, me too. How dare you? Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.